the following match is a ladder match and it is for the NCW Intercontinental Championship. Both of these men agreed that this will be the final time they ever clash for the Intercontinental title, whether it's any night or Lucifer. This will be their final match, at least for the season one. As any night making his way to the ring, perhaps for the last time as the challenger for the Intercontinental Championship winner of this match will defend their IC title against a new number one contender. But who will it be? Eddie Knight, four-time Intercontinental Champion, defeating Joey Hammond to win the first. Defeating King Gooder to win the second. And King Gooder again to win the third. And Lucifer to win the fourth. Perhaps, can he defeat Lucifer one more time to make it five-time Intercontinental Champion? Lucifer not coming out with the gold, it's already hanging high above the ring. 15 feet in the air but Lucifer this could be his final appearance as the champion of the Intercontinental Championship division this will be for the very last time no more Eddie Knight no more Lucifer in the division for the loser at least the winner will go on to perhaps make history and make their claim to be champion in the next game in the next season of NCW <laughs> that the tagline for WWE 2K18 is be like no one well nobody can be like these two between the leader of world elite and the leader of the ultimate nightmares clashing for one of the top prizes in our business the, the prize that has spent that has been def that was first captured by Kenny Omega on episode one in the main event it is now 74 episodes later and there have been countless people who have fought over that championship countless men who have won that title Kenny Omega Bobby Lashley, Jack Gallagher, Angel Ramirez, Malik Ladan, Ken Phillips, Lucifer, Joey Hartman, Eddie Knight, Adam Saban, bye bye, King Gouda. Each one of those men have won that Intercontinental Championship. They've made it prestigious. But this is where it all ends tonight for these two men. Who walks? Who climbs that ladder and walks out Intercontinental Champion into NCW The End as Lucifer nails that neck breaker? Mm. Look at his big body slam there by Eddie Knight. A scoop power slam. Eddie Knight. Big knee to the back of Lucifer's head. And a massive knee drop. For the 89 as he climbs to the top of the top rope. Here he goes. Could he be perhaps thinking of jumping for the Intercontinental title? No, he jumps for Lucifer with that diving crossbody. Taking down the champion. It is a three-time Intercontinental Champion versus a four-time Intercontinental Champion. One wants to make history, the other one wants to re be erase him from history. 
Actually, both men want to do that. Lucifer wants to become the guy who goes into season two as champion. Eddie Knight wants to be the man to win the title for a fifth time, for the very first time ever. Even though he holds the record for four, he wants to break it. He wants to go to five. But look at these vicious boots right to the side of the head. And here we go, beautiful moonsault by Lucifer. But look at this Lucifer targeting that arm, stomping it, stomping the fingers, make it hard to climb. But neither men have gone for a ladder yet as Lucifer drops that leg drop. I think Lucifer looking to go high at risk here. Instead just decides to pick him up. There he goes up on the shoulders. Big vicious head kick. As Eddie Knight goes to sleep. Lucifer begging him to stand. Could be sizing him up. For that knee strike. That's the first shadow striking at the face of Eddie Knight. As Lucifer pulls in that ladder. But Eddie Knight. Oh no. Oh, on the ladder with that angle slam. Oh, Lucifer. He just. He just leapt right into that one. But Eddie Knight, Irish whip. Here we go. Rolling. Looking rolling German. No, 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 no. Oh, again on the ladder. Eddie Knight. He is, n he is a brutal man. As he starts with a shoulder barge attack. Here he goes. Not again. Oh. Eddie Knight looking for the Claymore. On the ladder. Oh, Knight's Claymore right on the ladder. Oh, the damage that has been done. But... Eddie Knight looking to climb that ladder. I'm surprised it's not even broken. As he reaches for that Intercontinental Championship. Lucifer back to his feet as he climbs up after him. Oh, shots to the midsection. Four. But what's Lucifer waiting for here? As Eddie Knight looks at him. Goes for chop. Oh, Eddie Knight with a chop fest. Oh, and five chops. Lucifer could have done something there, but no. But Eddie Knight not done. Look at elbow from the top of the ladder. What a psychotic move that was. But Eddie Knight going for that Intercontinental Championship one more time. Lucifer... He needs to get back to his feet if he has any hopes in stopping Eddie Knight and retaining the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, Lucifer back to his feet. He's got to push out. There he goes. Pushes the ladder out. Oh, as Eddie Knight crashes onto it. But Eddie Knight not done yet. Dragon screw. As Lucifer trying to crawl away here. Eddie Knight, Irish whipped him out of the ring. Lucifer got to be going through all kinds of back pains. But Eddie Knight setting up that ladder one more time. If he can make this climb, he could become the five-time Intercontinental Champion. Here he goes. Can he pull it down? Well, Lucifer is recovering on the outside. Yes, he can. Eddie Knight. Is the new Intercontinental Champion, and Lucifer does not see that title until the next season if he becomes number one contender. But that is their rivalry at the end. And that's how it ends between Eddie Knight and Lucifer, with Eddie Knight becoming a five time. Intercontinental Champion.
as he proudly holds that up. The title he spent chasing most of his career here in MCW. He doesn't want the dream to end just yet.